What's up, family? It's your good news reporter, Mary M. Dash 20, Mary and Lee. Today is October the 24th, 2019. Long story short, just wrapped a portion of the video. Day that I had today, I started off and the music was loud and clear with Ray Charles. You understand what I'm saying? And I ended with Ray Charles or whatever and stuff. Imagine that. It's getting too damn easy and stuff. Real talk. I'm not going to continue to play these games or whatever. I'm going to make these videos short and sweet. Basically, the rapper portion is, you know, um, people taking my kindness for weakness and trying to play me for a fool, trying to stick me for my paper, trying to turn me into a hater, something I'll never be, trying to make me a broke, uh, dirty, scavenger type person and stuff when, in fact, I'm worth too much, even if I die, I'm going to be a problem. Even if I go broke, as long as they owe me, I'll never be broke. So, you know, I don't know what their plan is for me. But what I do know is I ain't worried about nothing. For real, only people that don't know what time it is go the fuck off and stuff. You know, now, Tupac, you know, he set the scene for, you know, I guess my demise or whatever because they want, you know, this is how they play it. They su supposedly, you know, take advantage of the guys. There's a lot of guys playing like they're gay and girls too, you know, for the money. I mean, what would you do? I watched a movie back in the day, you know, with, you know, sleep with a person, you know, wife for a million dollars or whatever and stuff. So they're trying to get this money, you know, any way possible. And they get a girls, you know how it goes, pimping and pandering and all that stuff. You understand what I'm saying? It? I'm not with none of that, you know, I'm like, I'm not a trick, and that's how people trying to treat me, and that's why, you know, I thought my so-called friend, at least a friend, you know, Luana Joy Jacobs would have, uh, you know, been there, you know, like right now, but she had a, another fucking goddamn agenda, and, you know, guys, you know, towards the end, you know, it's bros over hoes, that's how they say it, you know, me, I think a friend is worth more than, you know, money, property, and prestige because you can, you know, have fun or whatever and stuff with another person. But, you know, money, property, and prestige, you, you know, you can't. You can be broke and have fun. You know what I'm saying? Real talk with somebody else. You know, it's not like it was, you know, growing up. I never really had, you know, friends growing up. I always had people that clung, clung on to me for some reason or another, you know, and try to get some shit started or whatever. Long story short, uh, they only do the guys a certain way, supposedly, you know, turn them out or whatever and stuff. And then, you know, the guys stick together and then they get, uh, uh, they become, I guess they like it or whatever and stuff, you know, because my thing is, if you're a guy and you get molested, you would want a girl, would you not? You understand what I'm saying? But when it comes to girls getting molested by a guy, you will understand why they will you know, like a girl or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Or a lady or whatever the case may be. Either way, this goes back to the Christian church and even incest and things of that nature or whatever the case is. Long story short, it's a bunch of crap. So they they get the guys, turn them out, and then they hate the ladies that make the babies like, you know, Tupac said. You know, I don't know if he was making that a fact, because that's what it seemed like was happening or whatever and stuff. Not only that, he was very managed growing up or whatever the case was and stuff, you know. And then, you know, they get they girls to come after me after they, you know, rape me, you know. You see, they rape me as a little girl, and if I grow up and, and I got raped by five guys, I'm going to grow up looking like them. That's their science all day. It's all scientific, and they try to do everything scientifically and stuff, which is fucked up because the world is fucked up now because of that. And then you struggle and fight to figure out who you are and what you are and who whose you are. You understand what I'm saying? And then come to find out you get involved with other people that's trying to do the same thing. And, and that's why when Tupac came out with the movie Juice, you know, he was killing all his friends or whatever and stuff, setting the stage and, you know, shit is crazy. This, this is crazy. So, you know, they say I'm too cool, but when I try to be a lady, 
they got mad at that. But now you got guys that want to have breasts in a, you know, vagina, a uterus or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? This shit is getting ridiculous. I can't even explain it. Rap a portion. You know, all you motherfuckers that's turned your back on me or whatever, trying to, you know, whatever you're trying to do, demonize me or whatever. Anything happened to me, I'm not taking care of no bastard ass fucking kids and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So whatever y'all got planned or whatever and shit, I'm just saying. My money is my money. If you ain't never seen the movie Mommy Dearest, she ain't leave their ass nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Because we don't do tricks and treats and shit like that. You know, we real motherfuckers. So when the Africans and the Caucasians came over and shitted on the Native Americans... You understand what I'm saying? And we still try to help them and they still shit it on us. You know, if I die, we all die. And that's why you hear so much about, you know, mothers dying, you know, on the uh, operating table or whatever, while they giving birth or whatever. Not the operating table, but you know, while they giving birth and then only the child lives and stuff because that's bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Like I said, if I die, we all die. I mean, the whole world, that's... That's my story I'm sticking with. I'm too good at what I do. And my high power knows, you know, I did the right thing for the right reason. And, you know, it really wasn't my heart involved. It was just me being the right, righteous person or whatever and stuff. Not to the point where I'm a damn fool because they take everybody for a fool that, you know, is nice and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And that's not the case. So they learn the hard way and stuff. So I'm, I guess I will be that sacrificial lamb because I'm not going to the hospital and, you know... It is what it is, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, her people hurt people and, you know, everybody are opportunists. And, you know, I knew once Oprah became a millionaire, it was going to be a problem. I already knew that. You understand what I'm saying? Then she became a billionaire. Or who knows? It might be all lies. Who knows? Maybe motherfuckers just acting and shit. Because you got a lot of gay acting motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? Just trying to get the money. You understand what I'm saying? So, it's crazy. People don't want to be themselves, and they don't want you to be yourself and stuff, and that's the sad part. So, you know, flip the Bible today to Isaiah chapter 28 and 29. I can't tell everybody everything, and I'm not going to keep wasting my money on these fucking goddamn memory cards and things of that nature and stuff, because it's all bullshit. They trying to come up with some 5G shit, you know, and that's supposed to, you know, penetrate your skin and you end up with cancer. They've been talking about that for years, and now they... Uh, upgrade Nick because they want to cut everybody up like surgery and bury them in a hurry with no worries. You know, they really is obsessed with motherfuckers and shit. Real talk, and it's sad to say, but you know, we're not the only ones going to go. They're going to go too. So, you know, we need to take things back to where they was because even John Henry Clark said we was going into slavery. I've never been a slave in my fucking life, but because motherfuckers invaded, took, uh, our identity and trying to, you know, make us them, you know, serve them. I'm not that type of motherfucker. I do everything for a reason. And, you know, when I'm ready to die, I'm ready to die. Whenever you motherfuckers want to kick in the door, wave in the fo fo, I don't give a shit no more. <laughs> Just remixing this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because I know I ain't going by myself. So that's the wrap-up portion of that stuff. You understand what I'm saying? It sucks, as always. You know, niggas ain't shit. Bitches ain't either. You ain't got no friends and stuff. You know, motherfuckers play like your friend until... You know, they don't need you no more once they come up. Once they come up, then, you know, they're going to treat you some kind of way. Right now, it's bad for me. When they get to where they're trying to get to, it's going to get worse and shit. You already know that. You understand what I'm saying? For real. So, you know, I'm hoping my real Mary McAmara stepped their game up because I stood up for this generation. And believe me, they working on another generation right now for the generation that I stood up for and that my generation turned they back on. You understand what I'm saying? The older generation turned they back on us, it's just fucked up, you know, everybody trying to live, and for what, what you living for, it sucks, for real, I mean, y'all might be getting over like a fat rat, my ass girlfriend, I'm pretty sure she ain't skinny like she used to be and shit or whatever, because, you know, she ran with the money and shit, which is unfortunate, because if you only knew like I knew, you'll never know, and with that, this is Good News, Port of Maryland, that's been America, peace.